All right, so here's the second video. We're gonna make a simple perch pattern. I'm gonna use pearlized paints, gonna use the pearl tangerine, the pearl pineapple, a pearl green, but I'm gonna use a base for the green of a bright green. You'll see how that makes out later. How I like to do it when I'm using multiple colors I like the faded look in like normal. I'm going to start off with the yellow and do the middle. And then do the middle on both sides. And then we'll do the orange on the belly. And then we'll do the green. So let's get started here. The only thing about these pearls, it sucks up a lot of paint. It goes quick. Again, we want to take those boogers off of the cap. Don't want that stuck in the gun. Or you're just gonna be upset and have to quit painting and waste time to clean your gun when you're not ready to. All right. So that's all off. Don't want any boogers inside the paint gun. Pick it up. And that's pretty good. Now I sometimes will heat dry these, but I like the, the fade in, the blend in look, so I'll kind of leave it a little wet and we'll get to it. And when you throw the paint over top of each other, you just give it a little bit of a better blending look. All right, let's go to the pearl tangerine, do the belly next. Guys, be creative when it comes to your own stuff here. Again, there's no such thing as being wrong. If you're the artist, enjoy it. So with this orange, I'm just lightly coating it. Trying to keep the main focus on the belly. And you can see the faded lines up. The faded line up kind of looks pretty good right there. That looks really good. All right. All right, I kind of want a darker green on top of here. So I'm going to use this bright green. And I'm going to overfade it with the pearl on top. Start in the center. I'm gonna work right down it, right down the middle. You see the camera? It's a little on the bright side, but trust me, as soon as we throw some pearl over top of it, then when we put the black to cover the back, you'll see it comes out really nice. Now, since I'm done with the pearl, or since I'm done with the main base colors, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash heat it, or heat set it, and let it go here. So if nobody knows, when you're, when you're heat setting it, you're watching for the paint to dry. You can literally see it dry as you're going along. Just like that, it's pretty dry. So I'm gonna take my pearl and go over top of the bright green here. Now you can use your own colors that you want for this. If you want a darker green, or darker colors. This is just the style that I like. Again, I'm gonna take that pearl right down the middle of the back here. A little more. 
You can see how the pearl kind of darked it up, darkened it up and faded down on the sides. I like it. We're going to let that sit. We'll be right back. I'm going to flash, flash dry this, let it sit and cure for a couple minutes. and will be right back. So we're going to put our perch pattern on. You see this is a little bit used up, but this is actually a comb. I found a pack of them at the dollar store. Be creative. You can, when looking, shopping around, look, see what you can use as a pattern. This will actually work out just fine for the perch patterns I use. So since it's not big enough, I'll just overlay it and extend it down. So I'm gonna use the body line here as my guide marker. Hold it in place and shoot. Now, as you can see, I'm fading up. It's coming up on the back side. I'm going to run my black around the back here in a second. There you have a perch pattern just like that. And I'll do the other side. And then I'm going to take, see how it matched up perfect? Just take your time and ease it in. And I'm going to lightly dust black over the top of the back here. I'm going to do my eye sockets in black. And as you can see, that black turned to green darker. And I'm done. I'm not doing any more to that bait. We're all said and done.